Hey, what's up guys? Sahatman back with another DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series figure review. Actually, this is based off of the New Adventures Batman. Both of these are. Now, we have Catwoman on the left and we have Riddler on the right. Now, I did pick these up from Fat Collectibles. If you guys are familiar with Fat Collectibles, if you watch my older videos, I used to do a lot of toy hunting videos and videos just there in general. I used to hang out there a lot. But um, they brought their prices down on their DC Collectibles because they're $20. And the only real place you can find prices Prices like this is at either at Frankenstein's or I don't know because some of the prices uh, it seems like the DC collectible prices did go up a little bit a few dollars but 20 bucks is not bad at all if you guys don't have a comic store you know near you and you can't pick these up click in the link in the description guys for bigbadtoystore.com and you can pre-order these so we're only going to take a look at one today and I'm still trying to decide which one uh, the Catwoman looks cool but I think today we're going to take a look at the Riddler so we got Riddler right here based off of the new adventures now I don't remember a whole lot of the new adventures cartoon I've seen the whole series it's just it's been a while um it wasn't one of it wasn't my favorite of the of the you know episodes you know of the series i should say but the characters looked a little bit different some looked a little better some looked eh, not so not, not 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 as good but anyway so we have the packaging right here it looks like he comes with 11 pieces um so you got the riddler right there batman the new adventures and then the silhouette right there of batman robin and nightwing and it's the same thing right there in the back so same style packaging um let's go ahead and open them up and take a close look at the riddler at some of the accessories that he does come with he does come with the display base right here with the artwork based on the riddler which actually looks pretty cool um he has you know an instruction packet right here just in case you don't know you know how to use the base or you know how to change interchange the parts he comes with this little guide right here or i should say um you know a little preview pamphlet that shows you some of the figures that are going to be coming out in the future but i don't think there's going to be anything new on this one no still the same one and then he's got some various hands right here he's got a total of uh three different pairs of hands and you know nothing too crazy but you know you get some extra hands which is always cool and then you have his cane with the question mark so this one's a lot different from than the um animated one but you get the cane so that's pretty cool all right, guys, so here we have the Riddler. Obviously, a completely different look than what he looked like in the animated series, but we'll do a little comparison uh, in, a, in a minute in the video. But he's got his hat right here, which is a nice green color with a little bit of purple. He's got a longer face and big ears and a little bit of black around the eyes. Uh, a, a strange look, but still cool either way. So he's got that big old chin long face um, and he's pretty much just wearing green tights he's got a big question mark right there in the center and he's uh has his purple glove this one has a closed fist and this one has the uh the hand so where he can hold on to his cane so the uh outfit again like i was saying is all green he's got purple like shoes i guess you can say the tights go all the way down i don't know if his shoes supposed to be green and purple but um he's got green and purple shoes right there but that's pretty much it for the figure i mean it's a slim figure long he does stand okay on his own i know a lot of these dc uh fig collectible animated figures need like a display base but I like the look on this guy. Now, the articulation for him, the arms go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the elbow, uh, lower arm rotation, the hand can rotate and go in and out, head rotates, uh, it goes up and down too, so he's got good range of motion right there, no waist rotation, no ab crunch, but the legs do go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the knee, and the foot can go up and down, so it's got some you know decent articulation for him. So there's a little bit of a comparison with the animated series Batman and the new adventures Batman. I personally still like the animated version. I think the look of, on him is a lot better. But, I mean, either way, the the, the uh, new adventures Batman still does look cool. I like the outfit and I like the colors. But there's a little bit of a comparison right there for you guys. Yeah, guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a quick look. This is a quick little video on the DC Collectibles Batman, the new adventures Riddler. He does come with a few accessories, nothing too crazy. But it is still a nice figure and he's definitely going to look good in my uh, Batman uh, animated series display shelf uh, in the toy room. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Are you guys going to pick them up? What version of, of to you guys is the best Riddler as far as the animated series goes? Stay tuned, guys. We're going to be reviewing Catwoman. Don't forget to get, get the video up to 200 likes. We're going to be doing some giveaways if we can get each video up to 200 likes. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys later. Peace.